Welcome to another episode of Kelvin's Kitchen. Today it's all about the mushrooms. We're making a wild mushroom truffle cream pasta. Sounds fancy, it's easy to make, and just as delicious. Let's get started. Mushroom pasta needs mushrooms. We got shiitake, brown beech, some oysters, a little bit of maitake mushrooms, and some royal trumpets. Uh, you can use any of your five favorites. I got a sprig of rosemary, a couple sprigs of thyme. We're using dried linguine today, parmigiano reggiano, a couple garlic cloves, and some fresh parsley. We're gonna make a nice little cream sauce after we make our mushroom stock. Finish it with a little bit of truffle oil. So with the shiitake mushrooms, we're just gonna take off any of the stems that we have, discard them. When I do a lot of mushrooms, I'll save all the stems and we'll make a mushroom stock. But since we're doing a, a pan sauce, we're gonna take off the stems. We're gonna discard the stems. We're not gonna use them this time, but we're gonna make a quick little mushroom stock with all of the mushrooms that we'll be cooking. So I'm gonna cut the shiitake fairly thick. I'm just gonna cook, making sure that since all these mushrooms are different sizes, we're gonna try to keep them as close to different sides is perfect. What I love about the oyster mushrooms, comes on a nice little stem. I just take off that little bottom piece right there. And with the oyster mushrooms, just rip with your hands. With these beautiful maitake, just cut the stem and it just basically breaks apart for you. Garlic. We got three cloves. Just try to slice them as thin as possible. And that's gonna be for our mushrooms. I'm gonna develop some flavor. With the parsley, I just wanna make sure there's no stems. We just want the leaves. And do what's called a nice little chiffonade. We're basically just cutting the parsley into little strips. It's gonna add a little bit of flavor and some nice color to our pasta. In a large pot of salted water, I'm adding about a quarter of the box of pasta. This pasta is gonna take about nine minutes. If you're feeding up to four people, use the whole box. Two people use half, so on and so forth. Now while the pasta is going, we got four minutes left to go. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, our garlic. Since we're doing pasta for one, we're gonna add only mushrooms for one. All right, so we have our garlic with a little bit of olive oil. Make sure our timer is set on our pasta. My timer says three minutes and a half left out of that nine minutes. I'm gonna chop that one up a little bit. I'm only gonna add enough mushrooms for one portion of pasta. That looks beautiful. So the mushrooms are gonna cook for about two to three minutes. All right, our pasta came out after nine minutes. I reserved about a cup of that pasta liquid. We're gonna add that liquid to our mushrooms. And we're gonna create a nice little quick mushroom stock. So basically all the flavor out of the mushrooms are gonna come into this beautiful stock that we're making right now. Let that sit for about three minutes while it's reducing on high heat. All right, we got our mushrooms going. We're gonna start taking out our stems. Remember, we haven't seasoned our mushrooms just yet. Right, the rest looks good. We're gonna add a little bit of kosher salt. I would say to taste. We're gonna add half a cup of heavy cream. And we're gonna let that reduce down. All right, after about two minutes, the cream, the mushroom stock, the mushrooms, all the flavors coming together. We're gonna add our cooked pasta. I stopped it after eight minutes. I wanted to cook the last of the pasta right in its sauce. All 
We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna add our parsley. The butter is going to help thicken this sauce up. Finish with a little bit of truffle oil. I'm gonna add a little bit more parsley because I really like the greenery. And at this point, we're just waiting to see that sauce thicken up. As it's reducing, it's going to be perfect. Oh, I wish you could smell this. And if you do make it, you'll get to enjoy this smell. Time to taste our broth. Look at that consistency. Oh, it's perfectly seasoned. I want to make sure it's not salty because we're going to add Parmigiano Reggiano. Got another clean spoon here. That's what we're looking for right there. See that thickness? I want to make sure we do what's called nappe. See if that spoon, the sauce stays in its place. All right, look at that sauce. The sauce is soaked up by the beautiful mushroom. Time to plate. Put a little linguine in the center. Mushrooms on top. Look at that. That sauce is just gonna fall right over. I use a microplane. If you don't have a microplane, you can use a cheese grater. I like the microplane because it's a little bit more finer. And basically, put as much cheese as you want. leftover parsley always 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 wipe your dish and just like that we have our wild mushroom black truffle sauce and just like that we have our wild mushroom truffle cream pasta <laughs>